Welcome to another Bean Outdoor product pick. This month we're going to take a look at the Elite Impulse 34. We've been an Elite Archery dealer for the last several years. They have continued to uh, be innovative and come up with new um, bows and, and changing specs around and, and, and really just improving their line little by little over the last few years. A couple years ago, Elite had some speed bows. The Judge was the first, if I remember correctly, the first six inch brace height bow that I remember since I was a dealer. Then they moved to the Pulse and then they kind of went away for with the six inch uh, speed bows for, for a while. And this year they've brought those back to the market with the Impulse 31 and the Impulse 34. What I'm holding here is the Impulse 34. Um, 34 inch axle to axle, I tend to like that a little better uh, for hunting and just general shooting it just fits my style better other people like 31 inch axle to axle bows. it just depends on what you like i encourage you to shoot both of them side by side at your local dealer and decide for yourself what bow fits you the best don't let nobody else tell you what you need and um, that's the best way to determine what's what fits you best um but th but this bow is a six inch brace height bow okay um and this is what we mean by six inch brace height and then we have that 34 inch axle to axle Something to also note about Elite this year is they picked up the QU camo styles. And you have the device or VIS, and then you have the Verde. This is in the Verde, and I'll come in close so you can take a look at the different camo pattern here. Okay, that printing has took, took well. All right, and you can see that. All right, I'll show you the limb, the end of the limbs there. Okay, and so you can kind of get a feel for that color the printing looks great um i really like it you know with elite we do not get to choose the cam or the string colors if you pick out the um, verde you're going to end up with the gray cams okay and you can kind of see those all right and then you'll get the gray and black strings all right i come in there a little better so you can see that something that the elite comes standard with is winner's choice strings the outdoor group which owns elite bought out winner's choice a few years ago so you get a good set of strings on every bow that you purchase um, you are going to get the cerakote finish on the cams okay that's also going to be on the cable slide rod here um, with elites they come pretty quiet right out of the box part of that reason is because you come in standard with speed knocks okay on both ends you also have your limb saver dampeners on both limbs then you also have a dampener um, on your string stop okay and then they come standard with the string stop as well so you have all those that is that's helping the bow as far as quieting it down that's why elite straight out of the box come quiet i think it's a great feature because some bows when you get them out of the box if you want to quiet them down uh with bow jacks or limb savers whatever dampening system you like it, you know that's another expense um just like traditionally some bows just came with not so good strings and then people would have to get new strings well everything from elite is a premium product that's on the bow right out of the box which is very nice uh this bow claims to shoot i believe at 29 inch draw around 330 feet per second um, and that's the the standard test that they do now i shot a 467 grain um, carbon express pile driver arrow um, had a 100 grain field point on it but it was 469 grain was the total weight and i was getting 265 i think it was 267 out of this bow through the chronograph okay and um, that's just the standard arrow i have around here a lot of times let people test shoot bows with and and that's what the speed we were getting um, i haven't done speed tests in a while but i thought i would do that just to kind of bring everybody back up to where i was doing them before um, and that's with um, a trophy ridge um, side on here and just a regular old whisker biscuit okay nothing fancy we have a g5 um, meta peep on here and we do have a d loop okay so that kind of lets you know what we have on the string and on the bow uh, for those that have an interest in that as far as how it what how, where those speeds came from that may have slowed it down some okay so what i'm going to do is something that i typically do is i'm going to draw the bow back and just test fire talk about the shot and then i'll try to do another shot where i kind of let down let off this bow and i didn't say this earlier when i've done my speed test this this bow set at 29 inch draw which is just a tad long for me at six inch brace height 
Um, so you'll see me kind of struggle with the draw a little bit, but I'm trying to get this done. Also, it is 65 pound limbs, so we're peaking at like 67, okay? And I didn't put it on the draw board to test it. I just got it out of the box so I could do this test and set it up. So I did, I did not put it on the draw board. Well, I put it on the draw board, but I didn't scale it on the draw board. So, so we'll get a shot here and you can kind of get a feel for the sound and the general draw cycle of the boat. Now that bow, for a six inch brace height bow, draws extremely smooth. And that's something we've seen from Elite for the last several years. It's a hallmark of Elite. Elite's whole thing is shootability, and you get that with the Impulse 34 and the Impulse 31. But that is a silky smooth draw, no big break over or anything like that. Um, something else I can say is that this bow does not have a stabilizer in there and there is next to no hand shock whatsoever with this bow. And that's straight out of the box too. I didn't do no invasive tuning or anything like that. Like I said, I put the accessories on here that is on, that is that, that was present that, during the test, but that's all I've done to the bow. Uh, something with Elite that I should mention too, there are limb stops okay on both cams and so that limb stop bumps that limb just to kind of go over that with you and and that limb stop is what gives you that solid back wall so you can pull that it's not going to be spongy or anything like that you do get that with some bows that have cable stops um, but with elite you get that solid rock hard back wall um, no vibration you saw the bow didn't want to bounce or jump or anything in my hand i just shot and the bow just sat there so great feeling bow, great shooting bow, and um, let's do our let off test that we like to do. And what I do in this test, okay, barring that I don't have no disaster, is I'm going to draw it back, come to full draw, and I'm going to ease up on the bow as best I can without letting it get away from me. So you can kind of see how far I have to kind of push it forward with elite bows. A hallmark of their, them is that you have to kind of push them forward a little bit to let them down. They're not going to want to jerk your arm off like some bows do. And this is going to be an interesting test to do essentially because this is a speed bow. Okay. And one of the um, signs that we've always seen from speed bows in the past, they want to jump out of your hand. So we'll, we'll do this test and see what happens. All right, so we're at full draw, and let's say that deer's walked by, and we're going to let down, let down, let down, let down. And you see, okay, I pushed and pushed on it, and then I pulled it back, and then I pushed and pushed, and, and they want to go right down. So you can see there's a lot of, um, not a lot of play, but there, 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 there's a little valley there where you have a little wiggle room with that draw, and that, that is a great feature on a speed bow, okay? I know this ain't like speed bow, like monster speed, like 350 or something feet per second, but for a six inch brace height bow, which gives you extra speed than what a seven inch brace height bow would give you in this configuration, that, that's a nice feature, okay? Uh, for those that like that, whether it's for 3D or for hunting. So I'm gonna go through the whole thing and, and shoot it this time. Like I said, great shooting bow and very smooth draw release. I mean, it, it, it and quiet just right out of the box. There's not enough good things to say about the Elite bows. Um, if you have an interest in Elite bow, I recommend that you go to your local dealer. Our new shop is going to be located at 12201 North, North Carolina Highway 150, suite number two. Winston-Salem, North Carolina, 27127. That's more of a centralized location for us. Uh, you're more than welcome to come by, shoot the bows. We'll have them there, and we can set them up and, and, and get you fixed up. If you have any questions about Elite, um, feel free to contact us, whether you're out of state or not. If you got a question about um, some spec or, or, or shootability or something like that, we'll try to help you best we can and then get you where you need to be as far as finding your local dealer so you can get out and try to shoot it. Um, there's no substitute for shooting the bow. Don't let anybody try to push you one way or another or tell you what you need. Because every individual is different and everybody likes a different feel for a bow. And maybe the impulse isn't for you. Maybe one of the energy bows are. Okay. So, but if you have any questions, our phone number is 336-564-2400. 
and we'll try to help you the best we can. Our email address is sales at beanoutdoors.com. You can email us there. You can go to our website, www.beanoutdoors.com. If you need help with an elite accessory or something like that, we can help you there if it's a stabilizer or a quiver or something like that or one of the, the new rest. Um, so any questions you have, please let us know, and we'll be back next time with another Bean Outdoor product pick.